Hello everyone and welcome to The Little Blue Fly. In today's video I will be sharing um, the most gorgeous collection um, that pretty much was a steal uh, that I picked up on it was Craigslist back in the day. Facebook Marketplace wasn't here yet and she was um, an artist and it was just something that she had for many years that her family used um, every holiday, every Christmas and just believe it or not none of the children wanted these pieces which i just really can't understand because they're gorgeous so i made sure to let her know that they were absolutely going into a home where they would be cherished just adored and used during the holiday season um, so we're actually going to be working inside um, this French country hutch that was a Facebook marketplace find it used to be in my sunroom and now it's here in the dining room and I'm looking forward to decorating inside so that being said let's begin shall we Okay, so that was sort of um, <laughs> an awkward freeze frame at the beginning, kind of up there and twisted, but that, that's okay. Okay, so this is um, my wonderful, well, I just love it because I love buttercream yellow. Yellow is such a happy color, but those cords over to the left, those are not so happy. I told myself, self, you are getting these electrical outlets placed in first thing the beginning of the year. So we are making a call out to our electrician because one thing about an older home, they didn't believe in putting in many outlets. So um, yes, that's going to get fixed to get rid of the cords. But this hutch was actually, as I just stated earlier, it was out in the sunroom, but I'm taking down the wall um, behind the bookcase and this was on the other side of the wall. So it had to move. And I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous here in the dining room. And let me tell you why. And I will get this recorded. It won't be today, but I will make sure to get it. Early in the morning, I'd say around 7, 7.30 time frame, the sun comes through and it just goes up against this yellow buffet and just makes the whole room literally glow. So when I can capture that, I'll make sure to get that recorded. Okay, so I'm going to start with some of these wicker trays that were purchased from Maryfield Garden. I have a couple of them. It's almost like they were made for this hutch. They're just the perfect length and width. and But I just have two. Okay, up at top I have a little stand. And we are going to start adding in my beautiful vintage red transferware collection. I adore these pieces, every single one of them. And this is a very large platter. So during Christmas, okay, I have not been able, I'm so excited over here. I have not been able, here's the stamping on the back for those of you are, who might be interested in this pattern. But for many years now, I have not been able to use these during Christmas time because they were in storage in California. But I have them now and from here on out, um, we will be using these during Christmas. So I place the large platter up at top. And here are the dinner plates. And all of these pieces are in excellent condition. I, and especially for the age, I do not have any major chips um, or uh, a few pieces have some crazing, but 
Not that many of them. And again, here is the stamp on the back. And these are the dinner plates. So many items, well, a few, not many, a few of them that are inside the cabinet, I will actually be taking out during um, my tablescape. And all I can say is you don't want to miss that video because it's going to be something pretty special. A very um, just cozy and welcoming tablescape for sure. One that takes you back in, you know, to the, the older times. Okay, these are my gold pears. They were purchased from the at-home store last year. I love them. They're very simple but gorgeous. I love, you know, I'm going to start collecting them now. I'm just really in love with gold pears. Okay, so these trees, these pine trees, I have a couple of them. Actually, a few of them were purchased just recently from Hobby Lobby. They're having that big sale, so I paid a big whopping $4 for them and some change. So I'm placing them in behind the pears just to, you know, just to give some more depth and add in some color, some warmth. And they're just simple little pine trees. So I went ahead, made sure that the tray was pulled all the way out onto the shelf. And we have some wicker going on here. And then, you know, we have some metals and then the greenery. So again, working in all the different elements um, just to get, you know, just a good um, completion of, of things. Again, I like working with, you know, many different elements in my decorating. I don't just like staying with, you know, just all metal or all ceramic or Okay, so this this little fella, he's just cute. He came from Hobby Lobby. Just short, sweet, and simple. Has the perfect aged goodness all over it. Um, the warmer colors that I absolutely love. Um, we have the burlap up on the shade. And because the wicker tray up at top blocks the light... So I decided, okay, I'm going to have to add in just a little simple lamp. And this was just recently purchased from, um, oh gosh, I think it was Home Goods. They have quite a few of these wood pieces and I love working with them. So it's, again, it's all about blending, um, the many different elements here and I have some more of the dinner plates and I will be placing them in the back I just I can never tire um, of this gorgeous red transfer wear I love all red transfer wear I love the reds and the greens and the blues but looking at these plates, I decided that I needed to give things a little bit more depth. But first, I'm going to add in this luscious golden pear that was just, um, I just recently found this off of Facebook Marketplace. And the party said that she purchased it at Z Galleries. So it's all about adding in the touches of the golden pears inside this hutch with transfer wear and, and um, other different pretties. Okay, so this um, tray, this golden tray, was actually um, thrifted from an antique store when I was living in North Carolina. And um, I just recently, I don't even remember 
where I got the little golden pear from. I know I recently sh shared it though in a video. I place some moss around the pear and then put a cloche on top. I just love working with cloches. They just, um, it almost like, like puts the pieces underneath it, like in their own timeline. Um, just, I don't know. It just makes it just a little, uh, just a little bit more special. Okay. Now I have some Mackenzie Child's chargers because during Christmas time, um, I love having just the fun whimsy throughout the home. Not too much, but enough to um, just give it that special uh, magical feel. And there's the stamping on the back. And I thought these would look really nice back behind the plates. And see, it's such a difference adding these in. Now, I know they can be kind of costly, okay? But if you go and, um, I don't even remember the site anymore. What is it? Um, you can maybe leave it in the comments and other people can read it. If you remember, I think it's Shop HQ, um, but you can actually get them on a payment plan. And you know, I even think Amazon might even have them as well. I should take a look in, into that. Maybe I already have and it's in my Amazon storefront. I don't know. I'm just so busy over here. Anyhow, okay, I wanted to bring things down to a comfortable feel. You know, we have a lot going on here um quite a bit of gold you know and then the plates you know they're um the different whimsy plates and then the transfer where i just want to take it back to you know the countryside you know the french country the english country you know uh just to those pieces that sort of talk to my heartstrings these were purchased at uh bed bath and beyond there by b and willow so I just added a couple of them. I would have put three of them back there, but I did not have the space to add the third one in. So that's perfectly fine because now we have a little bit of visual interest going on here. Okay, these are my um, bread plates. My bread and butter plates right here. And again, every... Um, plate has or even a serving bowl um, or cups they all have a different pattern a beautiful countryside pattern to them so I just placed three going around the cloche and these are my salad plates now I only have four of these because this is all she had. Um, dinner plates, I know I have more than eight for sure. So I need to get to adding on to my collection. So I actually placed the salad plates and some of the teacup saucers underneath the lamp it's all about layering right okay so again i'm adding in another piece to sort of bring things down you know and this is my um i don't know if it's antique or if it's vintage but it is very old and i went to a flea market um, by the bay in San Francisco many years ago and purchased uh, this along with a couple others and I had an antique uh, all wood um, chicken coop and I used to use that as my dining not my dining my coffee table and absolutely loved it So 
So again, what I'm trying to um, maintain here is a balance, a balance between things that uh, items that are elegant and then items that just bring comfort to the heartstrings. And here I have, uh, this is from the Flower Gallery in Manassas. It is all wood. It is highly ornate. It did have a little bit of a, a costly price on it, but that's okay. Um, when you get into the higher um, detailed items, that pretty much happens. And But it is by Raz Imports if you are interested in trying to find this cake stand. It's the perfect wood tone and just the aging of the paint. I'm having so much fun decorating inside of this cupboard right now. Okay, so now I have my um, little pear candelabra here. Um, it was actually a Facebook Marketplace find last year. I love the stacking of the golden pears. Again, these golden pears are just delicious. It holds three candles. And it just gives that perfect French country look and feel. Again, okay, so I added some plates down at the bottom. It's all about this cupboard, the French and English country look and feel. Okay, so here I have some serving bowls, um, two oval serving bowls. And again, each one has their own um, scene. I need to clean these up a little bit. <laughs> My apologies. And then I have another set of serving bowls and these are round. So I have two of each. And that's a good amount, um, you know, because we just sit around um, our small round table that pretty much just seats, you know, four of us. But then, you know, we do add in the leaves as the seasons come through. So I might possibly try to pick up a couple more of these serving bowls. And I placed um, a gold placemat in the back that was purchased from Maryfield Garden. And now I need to hide my cord over to the left. And so I shared in my previous video a different way to use a Christmas tree. And that was by placing a tree inside of a tree. Um, some decorate with trees upside down. And today I'm... So see here, I just went ahead and placed the trees. I just tilted it up front to help hide the cords down at the bottom. And I will be adding in just little single pieces of pine for the cord there up at the top. Okay, so I'm in love with everything that is absolutely sugared or just the golden sprinkles. Um, it just gives that nice um, feel during the holiday season. Yes, it can get messy with all the glitters here and there, but I love it. And these, I actually have two of them, were purchased from Hobby Lobby. So I placed one on either side of the pear candelabra. And we just have to have that golden sugar shimmery fruit 
Well, at least I do. Okay, so now to add the touches of silver. These were actually, um, they were a Facebook Marketplace find. And I just love how these little pieces um, come off from the top. I'm still not quite sure what the purpose is other than maybe it being decorative for when candles are not placed inside. But here is another. This one is actually shorter. And there are, you can place three candles on the smaller one. And I just went ahead and placed them in front of the transferware with a couple candles. Okay, so going back up at top, it is now time to share the pretty ladies for sure. Um, before, okay, I thought I was getting ready to share the pretty ladies, but I suppose this is where I share the ribbon. <laughs> I'm telling you, whew, long day. Okay, I'm going to be using the darker green and I will be placing the ribbon around the pears. <laughs> I'm a mess over here. I'm trying. <laughs> I have box brain. I have decorator's brain over here. Okay, so I'm just, the ribbon was purchased from Hobby Lobby and I'm just doing just one little simple tie. That's it. I'm not going to do a bow or anything. Just I'm going to gather it one time and then at the ends I fold it in half the ribbon and I will just snip it to make a pretty dovetail. But what I realized is my because I've been doing so many different crafts and decorating you know when we purchase a pair of scissors, we should just use it with our fabrics, right? Not Bev. Okay, my crafter ribbon, I get those scissors. If I can't find my other ones and I get to cutting the wires and it just really gets to damaging them. And here we have a dovetail. Okay, now it's time to bring out the pretty ladies. These are sterling silver and they are absolutely gorgeous. Facebook Marketplace find $40. That's a steal for sterling. Um, and I love adding silver um, at the table during Christmas time. <laughs> 